Today is a very, very special day uh, for me and a very special day for all of us. One of my favorite holidays of the whole year is Thanksgiving. To realize that the very, very good football teams are still playing football after Thanksgiving is another reason to rejoice. We have so much to be grateful for today. And uh, Lord, we just ask that you would bless the team tomorrow, that they would have a great game, the best game they've ever had each, each young man, Lord. And we just uh, pray for no injuries for our team and no injuries for the other team. What I started some years ago is having a family, extended family player get together where the families were allowed down on the field, up close and personal. We share some food, we share some love. Are we ready? Yes, we are. Are we ready for tomorrow? We've been very blessed and, and uh, to be part of the Santa Margarita football family and, and uh, the whole the school is wonderful, so we count our blessings. It's a, it's a, a lot to be thankful for this Thanksgiving. What would, where would we be without the family? You know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The full commitment to football has nothing to compare with their greater yet commitment to their family and their faith. Yep, that's my brother. I'm so thankful for these families, for the young men, for the love that all of these families share and everything that they have given me and my coaches. To have uh, more than 200 people here on this day is a special uh, act of love from the families. This will be a memory that they will carry with them the rest of their lives and I'm so honored to be part of it. Go we go! You know, when the brackets came out, not that we were looking ahead because Bishop and Bishop Mont was a good team, but you know, I was looking forward to the possibility of maybe getting in uh, and seeing Polly, and you know, I got my wish. So here we are. Are they the best team we've faced? They may, in fact, be. But physical, incredible. This will be the offensive line's toughest test, bar none. Polly's always been great. You know, um, they've always been. Such a fast team and such a strong team that it's hard to get it's hard to get past you know how, how much skill they have. Uh, they're all really talented. We all just need to do our jobs and do the small things right. You hear, you hear, and you turn to. I've been trying to coach my safeties up and tell them to stay back. Um, you know, we we want to get some good reads off their tackles, so we're going to do that. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, we got to respect that speed. I just have to stay deep like always and uh, make sure they don't beat me. Beat me on the deep pass. No weaknesses in that in that on that squad. It's going to be a fight. Dog fight from the first kickoff. It's going to be a war. We've done it all week. We've done it well. Play fast. We play fast, we win. Play fast, handle business. You got an opportunity to showcase yourself tonight. Do it. set out again it is a line play. I mean the line dominated, they filled the box and we were still able to move the ball. You know, I didn't really know I could jump that high, but you know I'm happy that uh, we were just getting able to get in the end zone any way possible, you know. Uh, Connor O'Brien was huge in the first half. If we don't have two big plays by him, it's a whole different story. Tonight, apparently, he set the all-time Santa Margarita interception record. I'm so proud of him. He's a, he's a pretty great young man. I mean, John, Johnny Stanton is a man. He's a, he's a man amongst boys at times, and, and you can tell that uh, he's a real deal. You belong here. You belong here. Now, it's going to be a ball. It's going to be a war. If you want it, do the little things right and do it with an attitude. 
but you belong here. Buckle up, let's go. Let's go for it! The game got close, we stuck with it, and again, it was just our line play, and, and we dominated four yards at a time, just waiting for one to break. It finally did. I mean, Johnny Wolpen, one-two punch, hitting a couple dump routes to Connor O'Brien, River, Monster, Little Sweet. I mean, it, it was all around a great effort. We've always thought that River Craycraft is one of the finer football players in the CIF. He made big plays on offense, Sure enough, made a magnificent interception. I ran a little out with number one and two guys deep, and I'm supposed to sit at 10 yards, and um, the guy just tossed it over. There was a long throw, so I had a lot of time to get to it. River with that pick was such a game changer. We were able to score, uh, get another score on that, and it was so huge being able to get back on the board, and it was great. Ryan Wolfen stayed with it. I mean, he might have had four yards the first half and just broke those two at the end. It all revolves around that offensive line. Max Turk and his four friends were the difference tonight. To beat a, a Long Beach Poly team that athletic and to hold that offense to 16 points is, is unbelievable. I, I would have never thought that would have happened. This is a great team. I never thought I would be even playing these guys. And uh, you know, now we did. We beat them. And it's just, it feels great. I'm, I'm looking forward to next week. Big victory. One of the bigger victories for the Eagles uh, that I can recall. Well done. Well done, Eagles. Well done.